In this video, I'm going to show you my 2018 Classic Planner setup. This is my Franklin Planner Leather Aurora Binder, and in this video, I'm going to do a detailed walkthrough showing you how I use my planner. Hi everybody, my name is Tanya. I make videos on practical planning, organization, and small business. Hi, and I'm so excited because this video was actually requested in the comments. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. My channel is not about sticker kits, decorating, and washi tape. While that's nice, my channel is about real life, practical, and functional planning. If that appeals to you, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button below. Also, be sure to stay tuned because at the end of this video, I have a special treat for you. Now, this is my Franklin Covey Leather Aurora Binder in the color blush. I did a detailed video on this binder. I'll put the link below. As you can see in the cover here, I carry two ink pens, a blue one and a red one. I use the Pilot Frixion Gel Erasable Clicker Pens. I love these pens. Again, it's gel ink, so it writes dark and it doesn't bleed through the pages and it erases cleanly. I feel erasable pens are imperative as everyone makes mistakes so in the front here as you can see I have a few cards in my card slots and I have a quote that I like to live by and it says if you plan to do it do it early this is a page lifter to protect the pages in my planner and this is a clear sheet protector where I inserted some of my favorites this is a little flower that my daughter made for me and some family photos and I also inserted one of the planner love pocket dividers that says a place for everything on the back here I carry a blank thank you card there was one situation where I was so happy to have a thank you card It's when my husband went to the hospital unexpectedly and we just received phenomenal care and I was so glad that I had a way to thank the doctors and nurses there I filled out the thank you card while in the hospital and dropped it in the mail on the way out so carrying a thank you card is a great way to show gratitude next I have a contact page where if someone finds my binder they can find me now again these are the planner love pocket um, tab dividers and my first section says quotes and I love 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 to collect quotes when I hear a great quote I run and jot it down in my planner and I like to look at these for inspiration this next section is my YouTube um, section this is where I jot down ideas on YouTube um, sometimes I have ideas in the strangest places so it's great to have a place where all of my YouTube um, ideas are my research um, my plans I have a checklist in this section and I may be doing a video on how I actually um, keep up with YouTube in addition to working having an active daughter having a husband um, my husband you know has some medical issues maybe one day I'll do a, um, a video on how I handle the YouTube YouTube aspect okay this next section is called home projects and here is where I write down the home projects that I plan or would like to work on in the future like for example uh, my next project I want to do I want to paint my daughter's room so this is where I go and just jot down everything and then when I'm ready to do these things I can go ahead and plan them out on my planner pages Okay, this is the menu section of the planner and what you see here is where I typed up a list of everything that was in our freezer. What was happening was we were buying duplicates of many items and it was just a waste of money and our freezer was over um, filled and we couldn't get anything in there, we couldn't find anything. So this way we just typed up a list of everything in the freezer and as we use it, I mark it off the list. This helps with meal planning because now I know exactly what's in the freezer and only thing a lot of times I got to think about is okay what sides go with what you will see I have about three page finders throughout my binder this is the Franklin Covey magnifying glass page finder which really comes in handy um, I also have a pouch page finder which is part of the Franklin Covey system I did a separate video on that which I will link below I 
I use two tools for meal planning. I use an app on my phone called Listonic where it allows me to make a grocery list and share it with my husband so whoever goes to the grocery store can pick up items that the other needs. And I also use the Franklin Planner menu planning pages. This allows me to strategically think how we're going to spend our food budget. We set aside money each pay period for food and this way we can plan out our meals. And on the other side of the page is a grocery list separated by the sections in the grocery store which is very handy so when you go to the grocery store with this list obviously I don't take my whole planner I take that page out and take it into the store with me and then when I come out the grocery store just stick it back in my planner speed up the video I don't want to make this too long I have a section called names because unfortunately I have a hard time remembering people's names. So for example, I have my daughter's volleyball coach name in there. Sometimes I have um, names of neighbors, but just a way, a quick way for me to remember names. I also have a section on eBay. I actively sell on eBay every day. Is how I pay off debt is by selling um, items on eBay. And I also have a section on medical. Now my husband, um, he has um, he's he has end-stage renal disease. He takes dialysis and he's on quite a few medications. We're hoping and praying for a kidney this year. Um, he's on a kidney transplant list. But here I keep a list of all his medications because if um, normally when we go to the doctor, they ask for a list of medications that he's taking. And I love having the list nice and neat right here. I also have a part where I've taken um, notes on at his doctor's appointments. And I have a separate video on how I keep medical information in my planner. So please take a look at that in the description. Now, as you can see on his medications list, I have uh, like this tab sticker. It's like, it's called an Avery tab divider. And I'll put the link for these below. They were very inexpensive and they're cute colors and they brighten up my planner. But sometimes I wanna just um, mark a page so I can find it easily. And these are a great way to do that. So you'll see these throughout my planner as well. Now I want to show you my page protectors. Now these are some inexpensive page protectors that I got from Walmart in the stationery section and they are called the mini sheet protectors by Pen and Gear. They were very inexpensive. Now the only thing about these sheet protectors is that they tend to wrinkle. So if that is something that you don't like, as you can see my page is like wrinkled here. If that is something that you don't like, I do recommend the Franklin Planner page protectors. It is, they're much more durable. This is the Franklin Planner page protector. As you can see, it has like a matte sheen, much more durable, and it does not wrinkle. And that's why I have it at the front of my planner so that it doesn't um, get messed up. Now, I also have a section on books I want to read. Sometimes people will recommend great books to read, and I want to jot those down. I also have a section on work. I put all of my work notes in one section. That way I can just turn to that section and have everything for work right there. I also have a section for genealogy. I actually hasn't have not gotten started on the genealogy research, but I'm very interested in it. Therefore, I made a section for it. And I also have a section for faith where I take notes in church, and that's where all of my church notes go. Are there blank sections in your planner like there are in mine? Hey, look, that's okay. No matter what type of planner you have, we can't live our lives being tied to a planner. The whole purpose of a planner is to sit down and map out without distractions of notifications like you would get with an electronic product, but to be able to sit down and map out strategically your dreams, your desires, what it is you want to do, how you want to get there, what do you want to do next, and that's the whole beauty of a planner. This section lists all birthdays and special events all on one page front and back. This way, as I transition to New Year's and new planners, I will have all important dates on one page. These are my monthly tabbed pages. I have the Monticello print. I love these pages because they have the nice white backgrounds with the nice blue marble accents. Also, there are light lines to help you write straight on the monthly tabs. Here I want to show you how a typical month looks. Um, by the way, this is another page finder. This is the Botanicals Planner Love page finder. It's very, very pretty.
Now what I do is I write my items that have to do with my daughter in red and everything else is, is is in blue. The reason why I do this, I guess, is because I'm a working mother. I like to be able to look at my planner and see where every place that there's red, that's time, quality time that's being spent for my daughter or with my daughter. So it's something to help me feel better about, I guess, being a working mom. We um, do a lot of activities with my daughter and I love seeing where something is written in red because I know that's for her. You will see a couple of stickers in my planner. My son, for my birthday, he bought me some planner supplies and included in that were some stickers. So I do have some stickers that say payday on there, so you'll see a couple of stickers. But in general, I don't have a lot of time for stickers and, and decorating. I wish I did because stickers really do add something special to planners. Okay, here I'm going to show you some of my planner pages. This is a task list where I just wrote down a bunch of stuff that I had to do. It's called Weekly Task at the top, and this comes with the weekly planner format. I have two formats in my planner. I have the weekly planner format and the daily format, which is a day on two pages. Now this shows the weekly format. As you can see, it's the whole week. Um, starting with Monday and it goes all the way across and I like this format because it allows me to block off time and see my week at a glance when I take some a little bit of time to plan for the week um, I love this format because it can tell it can show me where I have free time or where I don't at first I tried to just make it with this weekly format but I ended up going back to my daily day on two pages and I use both of them. Now right here I want to show you that these are cut out. Um, Franklin Planner sells something called cut out sheets and as you can see it still shows the top of the regular planner page but you can put these cut out sheets like in between pages so you can still see the date and the calendars at the top. You can still see the quote. I like these uh, cut out pages. I think that's a really good idea by Franklin Planner. And here's how the cutaway, oh they're called cutaway daily notes. These are, this is how the pages look but they're just shorter than the normal pages to allow um, room for the header of the other rest of the planner to show. And it's just a blank page with the word date at the top. And again, you know, I have the classic size. So now this, um, I am showing you, this is my Planner Love page finder. This is how the a day on two pages look. There's an appointment schedule, some small calendars at the top, a section at the below there for your daily tracker. You can put whatever you want there. I, I'm planning to do a video on making a habit tracker as well. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss that. At the, at the top of these planners, there's a quote, which I, again, I love quotes. And I love that this format has, this is, this is my Planner Love page finder. I love at there, that at the top of these pages, there's a whole page on each day just for notes. Here um, in the planner includes a, a, a business expense log. I keep my business expenses differently. I've done a separate video on that as well. That's in the description. And these are planner pages. They're like monthly pages, but the the planning pages, the the it's a little more condensed because the month is on one page instead of two. So this allows you to plan out in the future. And this is also when you go way out into the future, as you can see this says 2020, this is a future planning pages where you can write down something that you know may be coming up for that far ahead. This is my yearly fold out page. I still haven't decided how I'm going to use this page. If you have a suggestion or if you have a way that you use yours, please let me know in the comments. I will be so interested to know how to use this page. 
Next, um, the planner also comes with some holidays and observance days, which is really nice. And it tells you like what day of um, these holidays will fall on several years in advance. Okay, so now we're getting into the starter pack planner pages. Um, this includes pages on your values, roles, and your goals. Now here is a goal, um, for example, I wrote um, regarding eBay. I wanted to make sure I set a goal, and my goal was to generate $200 in sales a month. Um, with eBay will actually profit and actually I exceeded that goal so it really does help to sit down and write out your goals and map out how you're gonna get there this is another sheet now what I do is I buy the Franklin planner inserts and then I try to make copies because I, I try to save money um, but I do buy the original sheets and then make copies and then punch holes in them now these sheets are regarding roles and values and for example a role is um, I am a mother a role is I am a spouse and what um, Franklin Covey encourages you to do is to identify your roles and determine what's most important to you and then make sure you keep the main thing the main thing. Make sure you work toward um, being the best you can be at those roles. Now here's a section on auto where you can record your oil changes, your routine maintenance. It's kind of It kind of serves as a reminder and you can also log your auto mileage and I have a tab there that says uh, auto. In this section, I have a lot of personal information, so I'm gonna flip through quickly, but there you can keep a log of doctor's appointments, your blood pressure. Here you will see I made a separate sheet um, to record my blood pressure. I wanna record more information um, for my blood pressure, and I plan to make a custom blood pressure log, so please look out for that video. Here are some uh, reference pages, and they have some frequently um, I guess requested toll-free telephone numbers and websites. Weights and measurements and nice reference pages there. And um, finally on the back, world map and time zones. Okay, I don't do a lot of stickers, but I have um, some stickers left over from my old Lily Pulitzer planner that I have that they're so pretty I don't want to get rid of. And then I keep a section for stamps, and I just love my Wonder Woman stamps there. And I always carry a, a blank envelope. You never know when you might just need an envelope. And uh, as you can see there, I have a coupon and I have a Weight Watchers membership card. I keep those in sheet protectors and then I have the Love Pocket dividers where I have um, something in there like a dental referral. Now here are some post-it notes and it's a post-it notes insert that I got from Walmart. The holes didn't line up but no problem. I took my Franklin Planner hole puncher and I made the holes um, perfect so they'll fit in my binder. And the black thing you see there is my um, page lifter and finally is a notepad. Now, as promised, I am, have a special treat for you. As I said, I love quotes, and I put together a printout for your planner of some of my favorite quotes. So to get them, go to the description and click on the link in, just in the description, and uh, feel free to sign up for my newsletter. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. See you next week.